This is the $75 iPhone 6. How does it hold up in 2018? So yes, that's right. I bought an iPhone 6 off a friend for just $75, and it's even a 32 gigabyte iPhone, so none of that 16 gigabyte crap. And as you can see, the screen is a little bit cracked, but I still think I got a bargain on this phone because there is people that would still pay $100 to $150 even for a 32 gigabyte iPhone 6, even with the screen cracked. So there is that $75 price tag, but it gets even better than that because I found out by checking on Apple support that this phone was just purchased on December 31st, 2017, meaning that it is still under warranty and I can get this screen fixed for just $29. Now, when I first got the iPhone 6, it was running iOS 11.2.1, and as you can see, I have updated it to iOS 12, and I have to say, I am very impressed with the work Apple has done here. For an over four-year-old phone on its fifth major operating system, it certainly holds its own very well here. You're not gonna be getting revolutionary performance by any means here, but for a phone of this age on the latest OS, it is certainly very good, and so good in fact that I would even use this as a daily driver today instead of my iPhone 10. One thing I have really enjoyed about the iPhone 6 is Touch ID. I've never owned an iPhone or iPad with Touch ID before this because as you know, I skipped straight from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 10, so I completely skipped over the Touch ID era. And even though it is a first generation Touch ID sensor, I still have found it to be very fast and reliable. And honestly, it might even be faster than Face ID on the iPhone 10 because there's no swiping involved and it is definitely more reliable. I have not had to enter my passcode nearly as often, and even though it's not as secure, it's definitely overall a better experience. Another thing about this phone is that it is the first iPhone to feature Apple Pay, and I have actually used this feature on this phone. I used it the other day to buy a pot pie, and it worked very well. Also, for what it's worth, this is the first iPhone to feature a barometer sensor. So if we go into the Compass app, you'll see that we get the altitude right down there. As for everything else goes, the screen is still very good, the camera is still very good, and the battery life is okay. Fortunately, this iPhone's battery is still supporting normal peak performance. So as you can see, we have 98% battery health. And even though it's still very high, I still probably will get the battery replaced in this guy before the end of 2018 because as you know, Apple's having a special deal until the end of the year where you can get your iPhone 6, 6S, or 7, or even 8 and 10's battery replaced for just $29 for a limited time. After December 31st, 2018, it's gonna go back up to $49 for all other iPhones except the iPhone 10, and then that one will go up to $69. So if you are still using one of those iPhones, you might wanna consider getting your battery replaced before the end of the year, before the price goes up. Other than that, the only thing holding me back from using this as my everyday phone is that it is locked to track phone wireless and it cannot be unlocked until it's been subscribed for at least a year. So as soon as it's been a year, hopefully we'll be able to get it unlocked and I'll be able to use it on Verizon Wireless. So that has just been my quick little review of this iPhone 6 that I got for just $75. I've really been wanting a space gray iPhone 6 for the longest time. I just think it's the perfect size and everything, and now it is finally here. So once I get the screen fixed, the battery replaced, and unlocked so I can use it on Verizon, I think this is just gonna be a great second phone with all of the continued performance enhancements in iOS 12. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did like it, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.